Haney and Tiafimo Lopez, who wins? You know, I, I love to see that because that would be great technique. Good talent, too, in Haney. But that would be great technique of Haney against great natural ability of Tiafimo and yeah. instincts. Natural ability, quick twitch, quick twitch fibers ability, um, great instincts, power. You know, he's got more power, natural power, than Haney does. Haney can punch a little bit, but he's not the next level of puncher. Um, I would, I would love to see, I would love to see that fight again for that reason that I just laid out to see which one wins. Uh, It'd be very int- Put it this way. I think in that fight, there's always mistakes usually made. Sometimes someone will fight a perfect fight. Haney probably fought a perfect fight the other night. Sometimes mistakes will be made. I would tell you right now that I would think that Tio Fimo could survive mistakes that night. I don't know that Haney could. Haney would have to, yeah, again, good point. have to have what I would say would be a perfect performance and I'll tell you since you touched on that fight I put out a couple fights that I'd love to see I, I I'd love to see Haney and Tank I know he went That's up the away one I was gonna yeah. ask you about next yeah. what do you think there what's the breakdown I don't think anyone beats Tank Davis I I think that much for Tank Davis maybe not outside the ring I hope he's getting better in that area quite frankly but in the ring I don't I don't think any of these guys beat Tank. I think he's that good. He's that good a puncher where you can't make a mistake. And he's that good of an athlete as far as pure talent and technically and cerebrally in that ring where he finds a way, where he does what has to be done. He's patient. He's not just a sick and destroy missile. He's patient. He takes little steps. If he has to not come forward, he won't come forward. He'll move around for a while. He'll find the key to the door. Uh, if he has to give ground, he'll give ground. He'll set traps. Uh, I, I, I think that much of Tank Davis in the ring. I don't know how long he'll stay at that level because of his outside uh, influences and and ways in life or, or behavior in life. I don't know. I hope it's good. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I, I would love... I'd love to see a combination of any of any of these four or five fighters um, that you just mentioned. Obviously, uh, Tank Davis. I want to see Haney, Teofimo, Garcia. I'd like to see Ryan Garcia because I want to know if he belongs or gonna belong at the next level. I, I want to know. You know, I mean, you give him his comeback fight, you just gave it to him. All right. I know he's popular, and I know that, you know, he he brings eyeballs um, and, and crossover eyeballs because he's popular on social media, he's good-looking, the whole thing, and that's great. But purely boxing, I want to know if he belongs with this level of competition. So I'd like to see any of this mix. Haiti, Teofimo, Tank, Garcia and one other. One other guy. He deserves to be in there. And he's not being mentioned. And I don't think anybody wants to mention him. Because you can't make money with him right now. And he's and he is a towering inferno. Even though he's a short little guy. And he's not that short, but you know, at his weight class, 140 pounds. He's a he's an he's a furnace. He he you want to get ready for him? Go Go jump in a fire. You get ready for him. Go, ju- go, go, jump into open up one of those old fashioned furnaces and and jump in. That's how you get ready for Matthias. Matthias. Oh yeah. That's wow. how you get ready he's, for he's... him. I want to see him and the fight that I would pay money. I would pay too much money to see him in tank. I would. I would. Oh yeah. That fight. I would. There was a day that when. Lomachenko was a little young. I would have loved to see Lomachenko and Tank. Now I'd love to see Tank and Matias. I would love to. Uh, oh, my goodness. But any of those five, Haney, Teofimo, Tank, Matias, Garcia, 
Bring them on. Mix them in there. Where do you put um, Jack Catterall in this? He's number one ranked in the uh, 140-pound division in the um, ESPN's rankings, and he doesn't ever get any mention. Um, Let him dip his toe. Let him dip. He hasn't dipped his toe in that end of the pool yet. Let him dip his toe, you know, not... That's fair. Not not in the Pacific Ocean that I just talked about. Well, where do you rank? Then how do you there. rank? You you don't include Josh Taylor in that group of elite guys there, no. one thirty five, one forty or something. No, no. But I interesting. I, I, I would I would like to see give him a career salvaging fight, if if you will, where he let him fight one of these guys, and if he pops up on a great night and and he and he wins and he shows. Uh, Glimpse of what he showed a couple of years ago, great. He's back in the mix. Uh, you know, that's fine. But as far as me right now, believing that Josh Taylor is with these guys, no, not right now. Although I'd like to, I'd like to see him with Garcia though, because I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that Garcia is with these guys. I just want to find out. Where do you put? Where do you rank Stevenson, Shakur Stevenson, amongst these guys? Do you include him in that upper echelon, or yes. is he like on the next level? No, no, he's he's there, but I'm not interested in really. I I am interested. I want to see him do his magic with some of these guys, like a Tank Davis. Yeah, even though he's bigger than yeah. Tank, let him do his magic. And his magic is is to be a magician. He's David Copperfield. He, I'm here. I'm disappear on you. You know, um, not that that makes exciting fights. It doesn't. But it also doesn't mean he's not talented. He's very talented. He controls range. He's hard to hit. You know, he can be a magician in there. Uh, you know, I like magicians except when they do disappearing acts. That uh, you know, that, <laughs> I, I, in the ring, I don't want a guy doing a disappearing act. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so forward and honest and brutally, uh, you know, candid about it. I'm sorry, but that's what I I appreciate his boxing abilities that he can do what a pitcher can do in baseball and disarm a batter, remove the bat from his hands, change speeds, you know, go in and out. Never throw a, a ball over 80 miles an hour, but but still control the hitter by moving the ball around. That's masterful. I appreciate that, but that's not what I want to pay a ticket for. I want to see somebody that does that, but let him do it the way Mayweather did it. Let him do it the way Pinnell Whitaker did it, that, that were great defensive wizards, but they also wanted to go and get you. They also wanted to find a way to do what was there to be done. Not just the mentality. I think the mentality of Stevenson is to do just enough to get through and get, yeah. you know, and to get the win. Of these top guys, Tank, um, Tia Fimo, Devin Haney, and um, who else did we include? Matias. Who's been in with the best competition? Who do you think has the best resume right now? Well, I mean, Tia Fimo's been in there. Haney's been in That's there. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking Tia Fimo and Haney seem to be on a different level. Tank has been in there, you know. But who's Tank been in with that's in that, like, upper echelon? He hasn't fought the Lomachenkos, et cetera. Yeah, no. Yeah, Tank's... Let's see. I don't have his... Hold on. I don't I'll have his... You, um, I'll, give you, um, I'll give you Tank's last five opponents. He's got Ryan Garcia... Oh. Hector Luis Garcia, Raleigh good Romero, fighter. Isaac Cruz, right. Mario Raleigh Romero is a, Isaac Cruz, good solid guy, good solid. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. I, 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 I I'm, I'm on tank side. Yeah. I'm on tank side. I guess he's, he's been. I guess he has. He, he has. fought an aging Gamboa. Leo Santa Cruz was nice when he fought him and he dismantled him. I thought that Leo Santa Cruz fight. Leo looked really good early. And then just got caught and like starched. He also beat Barrios. Yeah. Come on, he's the top yes. of the. You're way off here, Ken. Way oh, off. Oh, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just. I'm. I wanted to hear what you thought of the the resumes. No, Tank Davis is probably. He might be number one in that. Now that you reminded me of those guys, um, he he's. He has fought. He has fought good, solid guys. He. There's nothing you can take away from that with Tank. Nothing. Nothing. 
And Devin, Devin went down to Australia twice, beat Cambosis. He fought Lomachenko. Now he fought Pro Grays. Prior to that, Linares, Gambo, yeah. Like I said, uh, the uh, Garcia hasn't. You know, when he, he stepped up with Tank and he came up short. And Matias is the only guy that you could probably question. But I'm not questioning him. I, I feel I know yeah. what this guy is. I know what he is. Uh, he might get beat. By a guy on the outside that won't let him do his inside stuff, won't let him burn the hell out of you, won't let him burn your house down, because that's what he does. He burns yeah. your house down. He does. But <laughs> um, until that happens, I want to see him. I want to see this guy, Matias. I do. I'm a fan of his. <laughs> 